Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I believe a few of you are still finding your seats, but good morning and welcome to the 40th annual Manatee County Small Business of the Year Awards. What a morning of celebration. We are thrilled that you chose to spend this Friday morning with the Manatee Chamber to celebrate the successes and the impact of small businesses in the greater Manatee County area. My name is Jackie Dazelski. I'm president and CEO of the Manatee Chamber, which this summer, just last month, celebrated its 130th birthday. The 130th anniversary. I'm getting a little feedback. Are they too close together? Or are they good? Okay. The 130th birthday of the founding of what is now your Manatee Chamber of Commerce. Um, and we are just, again, thrilled to take this important time to recognize the significant effort and strength of small businesses supporting our local economy. So to think that it's been 40 years since we instituted this award program and have had so many community partners over the year that has allowed this type of a celebration to be possible. You know, I picture 40 years ago, it was probably a couple Danishes in a lobby somewhere and a couple crafts of coffee. But I wanted to give you a little bit of perspective for those of us that can think back to where we were and what we were doing 40 years ago. A couple of good anniversaries that we're celebrating this year. Um, many of them pop culture, because I thought that's a good way to start off our morning but the 40th anniversary this year of the Sony Walkman. <laughs> the 40th anniversary of the release of the first um, edition of Trivial Pursuit. The launch of ESPN. <laughs> College football is literally minutes away. Um, from a movie's perspective, we had the release of Alien. Any Sigourney Weaver fans out there? Iconic. Uh, Superman, the original Superman, um, the movie. Rocky II. Hmm. And then for those music buffs, I tried to play it on my phone, but I might get in some copyright issue. It is the 40th anniversary of the release of Rapper's Delight. You don't stop, so. Anyways, uh, 40 years, and so much has changed in our community from a growth perspective and vibrancy and creating our own unique identity here in the South Tampa Bay, but I also take time to pause and realize how much is likely exactly the same 40 years later from the way that this community comes together to serve businesses, to serve our customers, and to ensure that Manatee County is the very best place to live, work, play, and as we like to say, own a business. So, uh, this event obviously tops my list, and I hope it does yours too, of one of the favorite mornings of the year. Um, I, we have some elected officials to thank this morning, and so if you'll allow me, hold your applause until the end, but if you could give us a wave um, for, those of us th uh, for those of you that are in the audience. City of Palmetto Mayor Shirley Bryant, Bradenton City Councilman Jean Brown, Manatee County Commissioner Vanessa Baugh, Manatee County Commissioner Stephen Johnson, Manatee County Commissioner Misty Servia, Manatee County Commissioner Priscilla Trace, Florida State Representative Will Robinson, Macy Moon from the Office of Senate President Bill Galvano, and Gary Tibbetts, Office of Congressman Vern Buchanan, and Jackie Dazelski, CEO of the, no, I wanted a woo, so. <laughs> I was looking for a woo this morning, so um, we thank you all for your committed public service. There is no way that the Chamber, as the voice of business now for 130 years in our region, could do what we do to encourage economic prosperity for our business people and all of their employees without the partners, partnership of our public partners. So please, another round of applause for our public partners. With a nice round number anniversary, I think it's also very important to honor all of the past winners of the Small Business and Small Business Person of the Year Awards as this award's name has evolved over the years. If you or your firm is a past winner of the Manatee County Small Business of the Year Awards, would you please stand? Don't be shy. You all deserve so much recognition and honor. Congratulations once again to you all, and we know that there will be five winners this morning out of our 33 finalists and more than 150 nominations received this year. 
This, this morning, for those five organizations, it will be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for their businesses to celebrate together tremendous success. And you all have been in their shoes, so you know the type of anticipation that they're experiencing right now as I ramble on and on. So um, without further ado, I'm going to, to get on with it. And as we bring up your chairman of the board, Bill Poulton, with Tropicana Products, I would like you all to uh, share in some enthusiastic support of the chamber team, particularly Michael Gallen and Eric. Massey who put on this event. Bill, as you come up, could we show some appreciation for the, the chamber team as well? Again, thank you all for being here. Mr. Chairman, the mic is yours. Well, you know, it's a big deal when you get here in John Horn Trudy Moon and Will Robinson, the closest they can get to the stage is the back row. <laughs> so uh, I know we're in prestigious company here this morning and it's certainly my pleasure to welcome you all to the 40th annual Manatee Small Business of the Year Awards. Um, when I was reflecting on, on this event uh, the last couple of days, you know, probably many of you are wondering what the heck does Tropicana know? about small business? Well, that's a great question. Uh, Tropicana would not be here today if it were not for the small business community in Manatee County. Um, we cannot do everything that we need to do to make a great product every day without the presence and support of a vibrant, healthy, small business community in Manatee County. So as a big business, I thank all of you today for helping make us and keep us successful. So um, let's get on with the festivities. Unlike many of you, I have to take my glasses off to be able to read my script. Um, so um, our finalists today exemplify the diversity, spirit, and community mindedness that makes small business in Manatee County so special and so successful. These employers and community leaders are an integral part of the fabric of our community, creating the unique culture that attracts and retains individuals and families to live and do business here, small business is big business in Manatee County, and it shows. Uh, as Jackie mentioned, it's been 40 years since the Manatee Chamber announced the first small business person of the year award. Who are those winners of the past 40 years who have laid the foundation of our business community? Well, let's sit back, relax, and take a look.
Well, that was fantastic. Uh, I recognize many faces in there, maybe a little less gray in their hair, maybe a little slimmer back in the, in the good old days, but still, still here today, so that's the most important thing. Um, you know, one of the many pleasures uh, and benefits of being chairman uh, is at every one of these events, I get to read a long list of names. So um, let me proceed by um, starting with um, um, recognizing today's sponsors. Um, obviously very important, we wouldn't be here today and without the support of, of the sponsors. And we start with the uh, presenting sponsor, uh, BB&T, and we'll bring up uh, Beth, Beth Green here shortly to run the event. Um, I could say a lot of th great things about Beth Green, but I'll just keep it at, she's a great friend. So I look forward to her uh, emceeing today's event. Um, our other our corporate sponsors, Blue Door Spa and Salon, our corporate box seat sponsors, maybe that's why you guys are back there, right? The box seats, all right? Uh, Lapensi Plumbing Pool, Pools and Air, Vanessa Fine Jewelry, uh, our event sponsors, CSNL, CPAs, NTech, Port Manatee, South Tech, Synovus, True Leave, and Willis Smith Construction. Our program sponsor, Minuteman Press, AV sponsor, METV, Photo photography sponsor, Johnson Photo Imaging. Dessert sponsor, Nothing Bunt Cakes, great name. Uh, floral sponsor, Cortez Floral Company. And our small, small business council sponsors, Clark Financial Partners, Ken and Annie Clark, and Inno Innovative CFO Solutions, Inc., Ray Rear. We are excited and proud to honor the 33 finalists today and recognize the outstanding judges who volunteered their time to interview the finalists and review their applications. There is a, a, a long list of judges and as a past judge of different events, this is a significant time of commitment, so we do thank our judges for the, for the dedication you've put forth in, in making this a successful program. Our judges this year for small business category one, Shea Barnett, Manatee County Government, Denise Berger, Regions Bank, Pamela Whitman, NetWeave Social Networking, uh, also a 2013 Manatee Small Business of the uh, Year winner. Our judges this year for small group, uh, small business category two, Nick Choate, Sport Clips Haircuts of Bradenton, a 2018 uh, award winner. Ray Rear, Innovative CFO Solutions. David Spire, Entech, and a 2011 winner. Our judges uh, this year for Small Business Category 3, Denise Berger, Regents Bank, Dory Sherman, Clover's Restaurant, Lakewood Ranch, my son used to work there, uh, David Wheeler, Bold Life, uh, our judges this year for Small Business Category 4, Steve Sherman, Clover's Restaurant, Lakewood Ranch, Gus Sokos, Demetrio's Pizza House, a 2007 winner, and Michael Willits, Shankman Leone. Our, our judges this year for the nonprofit organizations category, Justin Phillips, Minuteman Press of Bradenton, and Manatee Chamber Small Business Council Chair, Gus Sokos, Demetrios Pizza House, and Rick Yoakum, Humane Society of Manatee County, and a 2018 uh, award winner. Uh, now I'd like to recognize the Chamber's platinum and gold uh, sponsors. First, our platinum members, Center State Bank, uh, where we had a great coffee club yesterday, Car Riggs and Ingram, DMA, Digital Marketing Agency, MCR Health, All Care Options, Manatee County Government, Manatee Memorial Hospital, The Mosaic Company, NDC Construction Company, Pittsburgh Pirates, Bradenton Marauders, Raymond James Wealth Management, W. Bruce Body, and Sarasota Bradenton International Airport. Our gold members, Alliance IT, Bank OZK, Blake Medical Center, Blaylock Walters, Bradenton Herald, Malden and Jenkins, NetWeave Social Networking, and Tropicana. <laughs> yeah, okay. I want to give a special recognition to this year's small business champions. This is a dedicated group of businesses that helped us showcase our local business community and celebrate 2019 National Small Business Week during the month of May. Thank you for your support. Those, um, those to be recognized, the Educated Franchisee, Physical Therapy Doctors of Florida, Regents Bank, Shankman Leone, Shipley Donuts, great donuts, your CBD, excuse me, 
your CBD store of Lakewood Ranch, Veritas Pest Management, and Welcome, Man Welcome Mat Services. And then we, we wouldn't have an event today that we could later all watch later tonight while we're enjoying a glass of wine without the great work of METV and Charles Clapsaddle. So thank you, Charles and staff. We'd also like to uh, recognize Johnson Photo Imaging for the professional ph photography today, uh, Janine Amick and her staff at the Manatee Performing Arts Center. I, you know, it was a little over 10 years ago that as part of Leadership Manatee, my group toured this facility and at that time I think it was a concrete slab and maybe a shell of the, of the building it is today. It is an incredible journey that they uh, went on and were able to deliver this incredible facility, so we thank them for that every day in this community. Um, Pier 22 for catering this morning's fabulous breakfast. We have a great community of partners. Thank you so much to everyone. So I've always wondered this, what happens after you win this award? Is it a year long of parades and uh, television appearances? And you know, it's gotta be great stuff. So you know, I've never won, so I have no idea. So I look forward to hearing all about it from Nick Choate from Sports Clips Haircuts of Bradenton who can tell us all about what he's done the last year. Yes, it was all about parades and TV appearances and <laughs> just one constant press conferences and things. So it was interesting, it was 12 months ago that we stood up here and accepted this award. And I must say, having won the award and not being today one of the finalists, it's a lot less anxious right now. <laughs> There's 33 companies and people in this room that are really on pins and needles probably. So when you think about the last 12 months, um, I'm going to kind of give you three thoughts on how it's been. The first thing that's going to happen here for five of you is if you've not been to the awards, the award presenter will describe the business and then announce the winner. And there's going to be a split second in that description where you're going to realize, holy crap, I just won. <laughs> I will guarantee that will happen. I was sitting right back there. I know the ex couldn't remember the exact words that were spoken by the award presenter that told me that we won the awards. Next to me was my wife. She's wondering what what is he doing, you know? But you know, it's like a bolt of lightning that's going to hit you, and you should enjoy that moment, and you'll remember it for a long time. The second thing that's going to happen here is you're going to be, the five, the five winners will be presented with this amazing marketing opportunity. Think of traditional marketing. I'm Sport Clips Haircuts. Come in and get a, an amazing haircut experience. Well, of course, I'm the owner. I'm supposed to say that. What's going to happen for the winners is you're going to be presented with this award that's been vetted by the Chamber of Commerce, been vetted by a jury of your peers that have nothing to do with your business other than relationships. The credibility that comes from that statement that you are an award winner of the Manatee Chamber Business of the Year Awards says a lot. And I would suggest don't be shy about that. If you want some ideas, talk to Rick at the Humane Society. He's got some wonderful ideas on how to take, take in and use that for your benefit. And it, I'm not going to judge you if I see you, the winners in the parking lot after this is over blowing up their social media with <laughs> announcements. Um, I spent the rest of the day, I think, doing that. The third thing about this, it's kind of a bittersweet thing going through the 12 months, especially if you're a competitive person, you like to win awards, because you can only win this award once. So it's like, wow, huh? So I was mentioning this to Jackie at the Center State event yesterday, and she said, yeah, that's true, you can only win once, but in winning, you become a part of the Chamber legacy. And that's very true. I mean, you saw the announcements of the 40 years of winners so we are now a part of the chamber history. The, the second half of that, which wasn't obvious at all to me, is by becoming a winner, you enter into this community of previous winners. And it's amazing the outreach, the common bond you now have with folks that have it. You, you'll, you'll run into a prior year winner. Oh yeah, I was the 2011 winner. It becomes part of your persona. And, I would suggest, as you, for the five of you that enter this, to embrace the community. I think you'll enjoy the neighborhood. So, 
Anyway, it's been an interesting 12 months, and after 12 months, it's kind of time for me to pass the baton on. I was category two, so I'm going to pass the baton on to a new winner today. But to the five of you, congratulations to all the finalists. That's a big accomplishment as well, so thank you very much. Thank you, Nick. Um, at this point, I'd like to uh, call up Beth Green, as she will be our Master of Ceremonies for the remainder of um, today's award ceremony. So Beth from bb and thank you. Thank you, Bill. Good morning. Standing on this stage is a little bit like being at the Oscars and hearing Nick's description, it feels like it. I'm excited for the winners. Um, I'm excited to recognize my cohorts out here in the front row. Thank you so much for your support today. I have an amazing cast of characters that I get the benefit of working with every day. So thank you to bb and and to the team that's sitting in the fourth row. So I appreciate you all. So big round of applause for my faves. And I think that, Jackie, they changed the criteria because as I was looking at the screen, Wyman, Green, and Blaylock had won twice, I believe. And in much like Bill was saying, Tropicana is a big business, bb and obviously is as well, but we have roots right here in Manatee County. Many of you may know that bb and was fortunate enough to partner by merge with Wyman, Green, and Blaylock, and they are our insurance partners Every day we get to work with a small business winner, so we're excited about that as well. bb and is proud to be the presenting sponsor of the 40th Annual uh, Manatee Small Business Awards. We're honored to be here among such an esteemed group of business owners and community leaders celebrating the significant contributions small businesses make to our community. So thank you again for this remarkable opportunity. And as Bill mentioned, I will be saying a list of names, so I'll apologize in advance if I mispronounce. I hope that's not the case because this is a remarkable opportunity for everyone that are finalists and I want to make sure that I do you all justice. Um, it's awesome to see this great group of folks here. I think Jackie said there's over 400 folks sitting here in the auditorium today. You look amazing from this side. You all look fabulous. So give yourselves a round of applause. As Bill mentioned, and I believe Jackie did as well, small businesses are big business in Manatee County. I'd like to say you're the heartbeat of Manatee County. We could not thrive and succeed here in Manatee County with so many of you here in this room today. I ate lunch at Anna Maria Oyster Bar. Shout out to my friend John Horn. Um, you know, we obviously use the services. Blue Door Spa, one of the uh, finalists. Um, Remarkable, remarkable spa every day, are, you know, meeting our needs in that regard. Um, so we're just excited to be here. The Manatee Performing Arts Center is a remarkable, remarkable facility. We're here to recognize today outstanding and successful small businesses and not-for-profits for the crucial role they play in creating quality, dynamic environment for visitors and residents to live, work, and play. Everyone knows a small business owner or not-for-profit that is doing things right. They are focused on customer service, their employees, the growth of our organization, and they often give back in a significant way to this community. As Jackie mentioned, we had over 150 nominees. Remarkable. And I asked her, what does it take? Well, actually, I asked Michael Galen, who helped me a little bit today. So thank you, Michael. What does it take to be a small business nominee? And if you're like me, I wanted to know. They have to have 80 or less employees. They have to be in business at least three years. And they have to con conduct a significant amount of business in Manatee County. And I think that Jackie also let you know there's 33 finalists, remarkable number of individuals. And I hope when you hear their names, you'll recognize just what the significant impact they have on this community. We believe every nominee is a winner and they contribute to our economy in enhancing our community's quality of life and, and also contribute to America's progress. They're pioneers in their respective industry. They think big, they take risks, and they work hard. 
I am privileged to announce this year's finalists of the Manatee Small Business Awards. Please stand as your name is called, hold your applause to the end of each category, we'll give them a rousing round of applause, and we'll go through each of the respective categories so you know who these 33 finalists are. Um, so let's go. Small business category number one. This is under $200,000 in revenue. Key to life training, Key Fitch. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. Enthusiasm is welcomed and recognized and appreciated. Phil Kong Training and Consulting, Tracy Vanderneck. You guys can't help yourselves, just go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Society Bites Radio, Katie O'Neill. Socus Social, Eleni Socus. Spark Growth, Sarah Hand. Vet Care Express Animal Ambulance, Cheryl Brady. This is your category one finalist. Big round of applause. All right, category number two that Mr. Nick was involved in, I believe. Um, so this is 200,000 in revenue to 700,000. I'm gonna say it again, hold your applause to the end, but if you're just so excited and can't stand it, go ahead and give a woo-hoo. Before I do that though, somebody needs a woo-hoo. Miss Jackie needs a woo-hoo. So everybody give her a woo-hoo. I forgot to do that when I started. So back to the finalists, to small business category two, 200 to 700,000. All about kids pediatric dentistry, Dr. Andre Lewis. Chapman Insurance, Brady Chapman. Crystal Clean Green Cleaning, Steve Pajevic. Cheryl Wealth Management, Gardner Cheryl. Veritas, Veritas Pest Management. Don Gowdy, Tammy Gowdy, and Bill Gowdy. These are your category two finalists. Small business category three. These folks have 700,000 to two million in revenue, and I might have let the cat out of the bag on this one. Blue Door Spa and Salon, Nikki Nagy and Ann Campbell. <laughs> the Center for Skin Wellness, Robert Finkelstein. <laughs> Clark Financial Partners, Ken Clark and Annie Clark. Esposito Law Group, Janelle Esposito. Home Helpers of Bradenton, Jonathan Marsh. Larson and Goldberg, Julie Larson and Christina Goldberg. Prosser Painting, David Prosser and Lorraine Prosser. These are your category three winner, uh, finalists. Oops, I was getting ahead of myself. Um, all right, um, we have our category four, over $2 million in revenue. Farley Bryant Architects, Stu Henderson and Steve Padgett. Flooring America of Bradenton, Randy Clark. Manatee Printers, Ron Picklesheimer. Meadows Family Dentistry, Dr. George Meadows. Wow, Mr. Dr. Meadows, you are popular. Palm Printing, Ryan Hedrick and Nicole Hedrick. Ramos Center for Interventional and Functional Pain Management, Dr. Fabian Ramos. 
U.S. Tent Rental and Linens by the Sea, Brian Boyle, Cliff Boyle, and Tim Boyle. These are your Category 4 finalists. Last, but certainly not least, are not-for-profit organizations. Art Center Manatee, Carla Nerman. <laughs> Boys and Girls Club of Manatee County, Dan, Dawn Stanhope. <laughs> the Center of Anna Maria Island, Christopher Colhane and David Zaccanino. And Hope Family Services, Laurel Lynch. <laughs> Meals on Wheels Plus of Manatee County, Mary Beth Phillips and Amy Towery. <laughs> Solve Maternity Homes, Peggy Kerwin. Turning Points, Adele Edozer and Mark DeHaan. <laughs> United Way of Suncoast, Bronwyn Baytal. <laughs> These are your not-for-profit finalists. Congratulations to all of you. You're here today because you're doing all the right things. Good luck, finalists. As Nick mentioned, this is the anticipation you've all been waiting for. So without further ado, I will go to business category number one, under 200,000. Big business co comes in small packages. A nod to our first winner that is one of our smallest businesses, but definitely one of the mightiest. This business provides tremendous benefit to our clients and as a result to our community, providing free resources and advice and also putting in extra time at no cost if it means clients will receive the highest quality possible. This small business has a big mission. In fact, numerous missions. As this company assists other organizations with planning, fundraising, storytelling, research, and writing, this business owner is supporting the important words of helping children, feeding families, housing homeless animals, sharing music and art, and protecting the environment, and so much more. She is the sum total of the company's customer service efforts and gives back in many meaningful ways through her volunteerism for various programs and boards, one of which has led her to create a blueprint for not-for-profits to improve their inclusion, diversity, equity, and access in order to strengthen their organization and increase success. This small business owner strengthens our community and perhaps our country. Through her national blogs by helping not-for-profits deliver their missions efficiently and effectively. Please help me in recognizing the 2019 Manatee Business of the Year Category 1 winner, <laughs> Philcom Training and Consulting for Not-for-Profits. Would Tracy Vanderneck please come to the stage? Oh, I was like, yeah. Before, no, before you get the opportunity to say a couple words, one of your raving fans would like to uh, give you a little message. So to the screen we go. Hi, I'm Susie Bui. I'm the executive director for Manatee Community Foundation, and I am in the beautiful new building for the Manatee Chamber of Commerce. It is my pleasure to talk about Tracy Vanderneck today and why she deserves to be the small business of the year. 
For many years I've known Tracy and I've known her professionalism in the philanthropic world and the nonprofit world. She is always there to lend a hand to any organization that needs her expertise and she knows that nonprofits are not one size fits all. She's always here to welcome the business model of any organization that needs her support, whether it's board development, strategic planning, diversity and inclusion initiatives. She also understands the wider role that nonprofits play in the business community. They employ so many people in Manatee County, and they put people to work doing the things that we need in our community to build a better place to live. Tracy never says no when you call on her for support or help, and if she doesn't know the answer, she's always willing to find it for you. When Tracy makes a decision on behalf of her business, she's looking at the best interest of our community, not just what would help her get the next client. And for this reason, I couldn't recommend a better person for this award. Susie, that was great. Thank you so much. Uh, did you notice, I think Steve Lishauer had um, his map up in the background of the weather. I think he did that for his own little commercial. Um, how many of you have ever had a house built or a company or put up a fence or done a redesign of your home and had to use a construction company? Anything? Almost everyone in the room. The nonprofit industry in Florida is only 0.3% smaller in terms of employment than the construction industry is in Florida. So think about how much of, of our workforce and employment in Florida is construction. That much less is what is represented by nonprofit organizations. There are thousands in Florida and hundreds in Manatee County and I feel very lucky to get to help so many different categories of them with the business and the fundraising side or the governance and the fundraising side to make sure, you know, to help them do the best that they can so that they can focus on delivering the mission like one of last year's winners, uh, Manatee County Humane Society. Um, so I just appreciate the opportunity to be able to be some part of a, something that is so much bigger and has um, positive ramifications uh, out in the community through the nonprofits that I work with. So thank you very much. Um, thank you to my business mentor, Steve Lishauer, and um, thank you to my husband, Ben, for putting up with Philcom for the last five years. So. <laughs> thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations again, Tracy. That's remarkable. All right, on to category two. And as a reminder, this is the 200,000 to 700,000 in revenue. This company believes in using the term citizenship as a verb. Doing what they can to make Manatee County a ter terrific place to live, work, and play, and raise a family. They are great community partners, and they demonstrate this by serving on various committees, volunteering for civic projects and programs, and supporting not-for-profit organizations. They do all of this while realizing double-digit growth, excuse me, growth in business revenue this past year, and as experts in the industry, taking time to train others. Clients describe this business as trustworthy and conscientious, dedicated to outstanding service, what they are, and that they are always willing to go that extra mile with hands-on knowledge and personal attention to their customers' needs. We would expect nothing less from this company that was named after the Roman goddess of truth and promises to serve with honor and integrity. I'm proud to announce the 2019 Manatee Small Business of the Year Category 2 winner, Veritas Pest Management. Would Tammy, Don, and Bill Gowdy please come up? And much 
like Tracy, you have a raving fan that would like to share some words with y'all. So to the screen we go. Hello, my name is Jason Osborne and I'm with Bank OZK. I'm here today in the beautiful new chamber office in downtown Bradenton to tell you why my good friends at Veritas Pest Management deserve to be small business of the year. I've known Tammy and Don Gowdy for the last two years and the honesty and integrity they have shown me as small business owners, along with the love and support they show our community, is why I feel like they deserve to be small business of the year. Well, first off, thanks to everyone in this room. Thank you very much to the chamber. Uh, and thank you to the residents and businesses of Manatee County that have helped to grow our business. As we go to work every day, on our brochure is the slogan, honor and integrity. We go to work with one simple mindset. If we can't do it right, we won't do it. We have my wife, Tammy, who's one of the most honest people you will ever meet in your entire life. And my brother, Bill, a distinguished 25 year retired United States Army First Sergeant veteran. Who <laughs> so that when he moved down to Florida about two years ago, year and a half ago, and he said, I wanna come work alongside with you guys. We couldn't have found a better person. But when it comes to integrity, I always remember one thing. There's only one thing we have in our entire life that no one can ever take away from us. They can rob your house, they can steal your car, they can take your life. But the only way you lose your integrity is if you knowingly and willingly give it up and so we go each day respecting that premise and treating our customers to the best of our ability and again i want to thank everyone for this award it's a great honor and thank you very much to the manatee chamber thank you bill for your service and thank you to the gowdies again for their remarkable um, Pest management. Um, business three category, 700,000 to 2 million, just a reminder. Our next winner is in it for all the right reasons. Although only being in business for a mere four years, this business received an award for a substantial growth in revenue. They must be doing something right. This small business provides taking care of their employees by offering monthly bonuses, creative benefits, and ensuring competitive pay by regularly performing competitive analysis of similar businesses. They've also instituted a monthly employee recognition program to highlight exceptional work. Refining processes and procedures is part of doing business for this company, as they regularly take feedback from clients to improve their business model. This entrepreneur started his business because he learned that the caregiving burden is real and it impacts the families as much as the patients. His passion for helping some of the most vulnerable and often ignored members of our society is real. He treats these clients with dignity and respect and would give our own family members what we would expect from ourselves. Now that's being in it for all the right reasons. One of his clients stated he is a problem solver who bends over backwards to keep our family informed and delivers unparalleled service. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present the 2019 Manatee Small Business of the Year Category 3 winner to Home Helpers of Bradenton. Would Jonathan Marsh please come to the stage? As like others before, there's someone who would like to share a few words for you. Good morning, I'm Judy Vabrochek with Discount Med Direct. I'm here today at the beautiful new building at the Manatee Chamber of Commerce. 
If you haven't been here yet, you need to come downtown to see it. But I'm also here today to tell you why Jonathan Marsh deserves to be a finalist for this award. Jonathan has been a referral partner. He's a friend, he's a colleague, but what Jonathan does best is what he does with his business. He cares for his customers, he cares for his clients, he cares for the caregiver. He is a finalist for a reason. There are so many agencies out there, but Jonathan has outstanding caregivers. They're always on time. The customers love him, the patients love him, the caregivers love him, trust him, and rely on him to be the caregiver. Jonathan, you deserve to be a finalist for this award. Now, you need to take a vacation because you deserve that as well. Well, I can't really say I expected to win, but I do have the short man kind of thing here. <laughs> so let me take three minutes. I wrote up something this morning. I said, you know, what if I do win? Do I have to say something? So. It's a tremendous honor to accept this award as Small Business of the Year Category 3 on behalf of all the employees at Home Helpers. I do want to sincerely thank the Manatee Chamber. Uh, I can remember about three years ago, I, I, I said, you know, my business isn't growing. And Jackie Dazelski and Kim Daglish had me in their office, and we met for about an hour. They took time out of their day to meet with me to talk about what we could do. I also want to thank the sponsors. I also want to thank uh, those who nominated Home Helpers, as well as the members of the, the selection committee or the judges. Um, the inspiration to create Home Helpers, uh, you know, we, you heard someone talk about caregiver burden earlier. That inspiration came from my grandmother and my cousin. On one hand, you had my grandmother who needed a lot of care, but she was determined to stay in her home until she passed. Uh, on the other hand, you had my cousin who neglected her mental health and her physical health to take care of my grandmother very selfless, selflessly. Uh, she was a full-time caregiver for her. Uh, what I can tell you is my, my, my cousin, her pleas for help were not truly heard, nor were they understood. And many times she just wanted relief just to be that, that granddaughter, right, as opposed to being this full-time caregiver. Just give me a few moments to be the granddaughter. Uh, the, the, the tragedy of that is that she passed away at the age of 42. And what's interesting is I actually, that happened as we were going through the licensing process for this business. I actually had to, to, to postpone the survey where the state comes to visit the office for about a month uh, so I could go to the funeral of my cousin. So I say this to you because what we're doing at Home Helpers for our community is just as much for the family members of our clients as the clients themselves. Those family members in our communities are oftentimes overlooked, right? And they need relief as well. So I encourage you all to make sure you take care of yourselves. And I encourage you to tell your friends and their family, and you, well, and your family, excuse me, to take care of themselves as well for those that are in that caregiving role. And for those that say, I can't afford it, let them know that there are programs in place at the county level, at the state level, and at the federal level uh, that can help provide uh, financial assistance. For example, the VA aid and attendance benefit. So in closing, I want to take this award back to our staff, um, from the caregivers all the way up to our supervisory staff who are compassionate and dedication, or they're in their dedication, drive us forward. Because without them, this honor would not be possible. And I want to let them know that not only do I appreciate them, but this award also shows that the community appreciates them and what they do. Uh, this is probably, this will be the greatest honor of the business, uh, certainly to this point. And with that, uh, I leave you and I say thank you uh, for this award. Thank you, Manatee County. Definitely very noble work that Jonathan and his team is engaging in. Um, Category number four, we're on to um, the two million and above. We've met and honored several truly outstanding business leaders in our community today, and it is my pleasure to introduce the next winner. This business knows its priorities, and with a focus on customer service and taking good care of their employees, 
This company grew from humble beginnings to a dominant player in their industry. And increased revenue over time, they directed these gains toward creating a robust compensation and benefits package for their employees, believing if you take care of your employees, they will take care of you. This company has realized tremendous growth. Community contributions come in many forms from this company. They prioritize giving back to local not-for-profits and they work hard to provide much needed services in our community, providing well over $100,000 in contributions to the local community last year. They have also implemented strong eco-friendly practices and products. Our environment thanks you. The number of award recognitions this business has received demonstrates how well respected and committed to the business community they are. Starting with one tent and one old truck, this business has shot to getting it right each time, often high profile, once in a lifetime events. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present the 2019 Small Business of the Year Category 4 winner, U.S. Tent Rental and Linens by the Sea. Brian Cliff and Tim Boyle, come on up. you have some raving fans that would like to share a message with you. Hi, my name is Phil Mancini, co-proprietor of Michael's on East. I'm standing here at the brand new Manatee Chamber of Commerce facility, which is absolutely beautiful. So, my friends, U.S. Tent, have been nominated for this award. A little bit of history. These gentlemen started about 13, 14 years ago when they started on the scene in the rental company. If everybody understood how important a rental company is, to a catering company. They became like brothers to me. Their employees became an extension of Michael's on East. And we have such a great relationship. They have my cell phone numbers. I have their cell phone numbers. They understand what I expect on jobs. So it's just been an incredible, incredible relationship all along. Tim, Brian, and Cliff, congratulations on this award. So well deserved. Okay, I'm going to just say a few words, and then I'm going to turn it over to Tim, and uh, he, I'm sure he's going to have a few words. He's always got a few things to say. <laughs> I just want to thank everybody in the chamber and everybody that's here today for this award. We didn't really expect this. Uh, it's, we've come a long way, there's no question about it, and uh, this is a relationship business, and and without building that rapport, we would never have grown like we have. And our motto is the quality of our equipment is exceeded only by the quality of our service. And we've lived with that motto. We're in the entertainment business, is what I tell everybody, because we always have to be there to set the event up on time, and then we have to be there to take it down on time. So their service is crucial, and Mr. Mancini, he has elevated the quality of our equipment, because if you know Phil and Michael's on East, everything is perfect over there. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> This goes on all day long between us. <laughs> and, and has been going on for years. But anyway, Mr. Mancini has elevated the, the quality of our equipment so that everybody that we deal with gets first class service and quality. And I want to thank Phil for that, some kind words. The other thing that I want to say is we've taken care of our people as it's as was explained earlier. And a couple of them are here today. Justin Souza, he's in charge of our field operation. 
He came down from Michigan looking for a job. He grew up in the tent business in his family uh, up in Michigan. And he came down and joined us. We were lucky to get him because he is phenomenal. And then Steve Brunner also uh, joined us about the same time. And he is Tim's right-hand salesperson. And he, he's been phenomenal too. He, he's been in sales all his life. So those are two of the key people. And of course, we've built up several others under them that uh, follow their lead. So, uh, well, that's it as far as I'm going to say. But <laughs> Tim's, I'm sure, has got a few words. <laughs> Other one? I think you can all pretty much hear me. No. Uh, uh, wait, one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say a, a few words about Tim. As you can see, he's in a wheelchair, and he's been in a wheelchair half his life. But he is an example. I mean, when he, he was in an accident when he was about 18 years old. And, uh, you know, I, I worried about what he's going to become after that. But he has done a lot more than I've done, and he's just an inspiration to anybody that's in a wheelchair. I'm sure he'll help them out. He's married. He's got two adopted kids. He's got them in hockey and baseball. He's, he's quite a guy. You should get to know him. And he's... I'll let him say a few words. <laughs> well, first of all, I just, you know, again, I'd like to thank the chamber, um, all the other finalists. Uh, it was a competitive field, and I'm sure it could have gone in any direction. So appreciate everybody that was involved in the process. Uh, as owners, our job is just to steer the ship. We don't deserve the credit. It goes to the employees. Uh, we wouldn't be here today. Our company wouldn't be what it is without the employees. You know, we might be up here getting the glory, but this award's for them. So just like to say thank you to the US 10 staff and employees and to everybody in the room. And we're really thrilled. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Remarkable, and you can't do an event here or anywhere in the city without having US tent. Um, they're remarkable. So last but certainly not least, and I will do a much better job with this category, I profusely apologize again to our finalists, Bronwyn and, and sorry, Laurel. Um, Not-for-profit. It's great to see local small businesses receiving recognition and accolades for doing things right, isn't it? But we can't forget the not-for-profits that also ask Manatee County such a strong community. Our last award category of the morning is in recognition of those organizations and is my pleasure to introduce the winner. A strong, healthy organization takes care of its own. This organization is no exception as they work regularly to ensure the work environment is safe and welcoming for staff, clients, and volunteers, providing health and wellness programming, annual recognition events, and staff retreats. This organization has received the coveted four-star rating by Charity Navigator, Navigator, a nationwide charity elevator, elevation. This demonstrates the strong financial health and commitment to accountability and transparency to the community and their donor base. In the past calendar year, volunteers for this organization have logged more than 55 thousand six hundred and two hours of service with in kind of more than two million dollars all to better our community how many volunteers does that take on a monthly basis you might ask a hundred and fifty or more we need this organization in our community they serve an immense need their community collaboration, they create healthier lives for their residents as they provide leadership in developing strategies to tackle the complicated issues of homelessness. <laughs> Daily, they help their clients, often in crisis, maintain housing, find employment, get basic needs addressed, and improve their health so they are able to work. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present the 2019 Manatee Not-for-Profit Organization of the Year to turning points. Adele, will you come forward?
have some raving fans as well, so let's hear from those folks. Hi, I'm Sherry Corrier, the County Administrator with Manatee County Government. We're here in the lovely new Manatee Chamber of Commerce building in downtown Bradenton. Also here to talk today about nonprofit agencies, specifically Turning Points. Manatee County Government's history with the Turning Points organization is a rich and long history going all the way back to the Community Coalition on Homeless in one building, one small room in the old Bradenton Middle School. Manatee County partnered with the Turning Points to purchase the current facility and expand it and rename it the Galvano Center. We're really proud of all of the services that are very, very many that are at the center. A few of the highlights though that we work most closely with is identifying their, that they have the laundry services, they have mailboxes for our homeless individuals, job placement services, referrals for mental health services, and especially their award-winning medical and dental unit. We're very excited about those. An additional and brand new relationship that Manatee County has with Turning Points is our veterans coordination with positions within our property management department. Recently, Manatee County has hired several individuals that were referrals from Turning Points as full-time employees assisting with our beach cleanup area. We'd like to recognize Turning Points and their nonprofit agency for all of the services they provide. Congratulations to Adela Rozier, the Executive Director, and to all the folks that work at Turning Points. Wow. I was gonna say holy cow, but Nick already said that. Um, it is my distinct honor to be the President and Board Chair of Turning Points. We have an amazing group of folks that start with our board of directors. Um, I have to my left, I have Sarah Calandro, who is our vice president, Erica Lish, who serves on our board. Behind me is Michelle, also one of our board members. Um, to my right, I have to introduce Margie Dawson, who is our development director. And of course, everybody knows our wonderful executive director, Adela Roser. We could not do this without all of the folks at Turning Points. I want to thank the Chamber. I want to thank Jackie. I want to thank the judges for this award. This means so much to us. We work so hard to provide those services in the community. Every day we live our mission to provide, coordinate, and facilitate services to the folks in order to prevent and to reduce homelessness in Manatee County. It takes a full-time job with a dedicated staff to make that happen. And on behalf of Turning Points, we accept this award. We are honored, we are humbled, and let me turn it over to Adele. I just want to say a few words because um, a nonprofit is really a community organization. We absolutely can't do this without all of our volunteers. I have a fabulous staff. Um, this is something that I think a lot of people have a misconception uh, about that Turning Points only works with the homeless people, but actually the major people that we work with are maybe some of your employees that we help provide. Um, dental and medical services to those who are uninsured um, and we help rent and utility assistance so those employees that have a bump in the road which is around 40 percent of people in this county um, which again is a lot of your workers are working paycheck to paycheck those people need help if something comes along so it's not just for the homeless people but for all of those in our county who are here supporting small businesses and I really want to say this is such an honor and thank you so much. The time has come after much time together, it is now to time to depart. Congratulations to all of our finalists and our winners.
Small businesses are truly the backbone of our community and they exemplify why Manatee County is such a wonderful place to live, work, play, and live. On behalf of BB&T and the Manatee Chamber of Commerce, thank you for being here today and have a great afternoon and a great weekend and yay, college football's here. Um, one PSA announcement, finalists, you pick up your certificates at the registration table and winners, you need to come to the stage to get your mug shot so we can put you on the cover. Congratulations to all, have an amazing weekend. Go Gators, I don't think I'd ever say that publicly. <laughs>